Yeah, they kind of tore up the parking lot here at the train station. But they're getting right on it. They're going to make this real pretty. Yeah, I'll show it to you when they get it all done. But just like me, you'll have to wait until then to see. Actually, they've been doing a whole lot to this part of town to, well, pretty it up a bit. Yeah, they put in a new road here and knocked down and put up new buildings. New sidewalk. Yeah. I'm walking home from the train station. A beautiful day. Yeah, the train station's right that away. Yeah. And uh, about a 30, 40 minute walk. Unless I walk real slow. It's campaign season around here too. Uh-huh, I'm surprised we haven't heard any trucks driving by with recorded messages. What not? Hmm. Well, we're not home yet, so we might hear some. It only takes me about two and a half to three hours to get to Seoul. And I've got some friends there, and sometimes it's worth the trip to have lunch or dinner with friends that I've met since I've been here. And that's about all I did this weekend. Just meet up with some friends and, yep, <laughs> lunch here, dinner there. And I, I'm always able to find cheap accommodations that are, well, in my opinion, well worth the price. Anyway, it's Sunday afternoon, and I'm already getting near home. No, that's not a campaign speech. These trucks like this are popular. Sometimes it's just tangerines that are on sale. Yeah. It ain't unusual at all to hear music like this outside any store. Oh yeah, and sometimes you have cheerleaders like that one right there walking away. To, well, I guess they're hired to help promote business. I guess it works. Anyway, fresh produce anyone? See that red cross there? See the Korean letters? That's pronounced yak. Yeah, it means pharmacy. Mm hmm Now, if these arms were on the other side, it would mean train station. <laughs> Good to know that, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of improvements, They've been digging up, scraping all around uh, this river. Going to redo the whole thing. It's supposed to be real pretty when they get done. Uh -huh. Now, what it's supposed to look like. I'll show it to you. But if not, you might have to wait as long as I do. Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice day.
Is that loud or what? Election day is coming up in about three days. And that's everywhere in South Korea. And yep, these last minute touches on the campaign. Might make the difference in who wins, who knows. Anyway, this weekend I was talking to my friends about situation between the current situation between North and South Korea you know the heat's been turned up a bit lately but people in South Korea what they tell me is that well they've been putting up with this for decades and for them it's pretty much business as usual they say the, the rest of the world is worrying about it more than the people here are. One friend of mine said that what he's concerned about is that North Korea might become a part of China rather than the whole Korea Peninsula uh, becoming unified. I never thought about that. I don't know if it's a big deal or not. Nevertheless, it's Kind of new twist on the thinking. No, anyway, uh, it's business as usual here. Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Young John Korea. Right over there used to be a bakery where I bought my whole grain bread. They were the only. Uh, it was the only bakery where I could find it. That guy right there, the owner of that truck, has parked his vehicle in a bad spot. And those ladies there in the uniform, well, you know, they've taken a picture of this and yeah, but you know what, now and then, they blow a whistle real loud. And they blow it for a long time to give whoever owns the thing a little time to move their vehicle. I'd call that an act of kindness.